my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new hi hello my name is Loie today I wanted to do something a little bit different and I wanted to read you guys some of the scariest two-second horror stories on the internet I found this article with like so many of them like over 100 of them this is a video I've watched from other people like multiple times with other like two-second horror stories they really like freak me out and the fact that it's not like paragraphs on paragraphs on paragraphs of you know like story and getting character names and everything it's just a quick little spook that literally makes your blood turn cold there's something about it that i just love so that's what i'm gonna be doing today if you are subscribed and you've already liked this video do me a favor and hit that notification bell because youtube isn't always the best at notifying you guys when i have a new video out and then when you click that make sure to press all notifications so we can hang out forever anyways i really just want to get straight into this video i'm feeling very spooky tonight and in the mood for a little bit of something scary so let's get right into it here's number one i began tucking him into bed and he tells me daddy check for monsters under my bed i look underneath for his amusement and see him another him under the bed staring back at me quivering and whispering daddy there's somebody on my bed Oh, oh my god, I've heard that like urban legend or whatever told in different ways before, but the way that that was written, that's so creepy. When I have kids, they are out of luck because when they tell me to check for monsters under the bed, um, no thank you, you can just sleep in my bed. <laughs> I'm good. The doctors told the amputee he might experience a phantom limb from time to time. Nobody prepared him for the moments though where he felt cold fingers brush his phantom hand. Oh, that is so creepy. Can you imagine? Ugh, ugh. You can't even see it? I don't like that. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. You guys, one of my, like, biggest fears in life is being buried alive. <laughs> I don't know why. That's not just something that happens, but it is. Don't be scared of the monsters, just look for them. Look to your left, to your right, under your bed, behind your dresser, in your closet, but never look up. She hates being seen. And I had to check. <laughs> that is, oh, that creeps me out so bad. I think like one of my least favorite things in horror movies is when like people walk across the ceilings. Ugh, I don't even know what I'd do with myself. These are like giving me like the heebie-jeebies. They celebrated the first successful cryogenic freezing. He had no way of letting them know he was still conscious. She wondered why she was casting two shadows. After all, there was only a single light bulb. Shadows freak me out. I'm always scared to like see a second shadow and that's how I like know there's an intruder in my house. It sat on my shelf with thoughtless porcelain eyes and the prettiest pink doll dress I could find. Why did she have to be born still? Okay, <laughs> that was really dark. The grinning face stared at me from the darkness beyond my bedroom window. I live on the 14th floor. No, no thank you. There was a picture of me in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. Okay, that's so creepy. Um, the idea of finding a photo of yourself sleeping in your camera roll or finding a photo in your camera roll that you never took, like, oh my God, <laughs> a bug just flew across my camera. I'm hoping like, that actually showed what I thought it did. I just saw like discoloration. There's like a little fruit fly. I'm, yeah, that scared the crap out of me. Literally as I'm like talking about that. Okay, he ran off. That's one of my biggest phobias. Somebody I went to high school with uh, had this happening to her and I believe it was real. I need to like ask her about it now. Um, but she was like waking up to like photos of herself in her camera roll that she never took while she was asleep. If that ever happened to me, I would just pee my pants, like literally pee my pants. My girlfriend asked why I was breathing so heavily. I wasn't. Working the night shift alone tonight, there is a face in the cellar staring at the security camera. And that is why I could never work a night shift. All of you guys who do it are so brave because the idea of someone showing up in the middle of the night like that and scaring the crap out of me, I'm good. Just no. They delivered the mannequins in bubble wrap from the main room I begin to hear popping. Mannequins don't usually give me like the creeps, but hearing that really freaks me out and I don't know if I'll ever look at bubble wrap the same. You wake up, she doesn't. 
I don't know why that one, I mean, that that's creepy, but I don't know why that's the scariest, or on the list of the scariest. You get home, tired after a long day's work, and ready for a relaxing night alone. You reach for the light switch, but another hand is already there. Ugh, spooky. Hopefully it's just like a Halloween prop. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. That's so sad. That's not like scary, that's just really sad. Oh, ow. Day 312, internet still not working. <laughs> a terrifying horror story. You start to drip off into a comfortable sleep when you hear your name being whispered. You live alone. I feel like I could never live alone again because it's that alone. Like if I heard something and I couldn't explain it away by like me or my brother or all of my animals, I would just sleep in my own front yard. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in her house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. Okay, that's so freaky. I would like love if that was made into a longer story. Some of these sound like a great like synopsis for a good like horror story. Somebody take this and write a Reddit no sleep story please. You're laying in bed with your feet dangling out of the covers. You feel a hand. Grab your feet. The funeral attendees never came out of the catacombs. Something locked the crypt door from the inside. Oof. That's petrifying. I don't like the idea of like catacombs and crypts and everything like that. One day I want to go to Paris and the idea of the Paris catacombs is like fascinating. I want to do a video on that um, during like Halloween season and everything but that would that would be one reason not to go. And this one is all too familiar. The officer finally got back to me. The call was coming from inside the house. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. Why all the buried alive ones? I'm telling you, that is one of my biggest fears, is like dying by being buried alive. I just... Let's not write any more two-sentence horror stories on that, please. The last man on earth sat alone in a room. There was a knock at the door. I've read that one before. So scary. Although if I was the last man on earth, I'd be really excited to hear a knock. I don't even think I'd feel scared at that point. Because like, what's more like terrifying than spending eternity by yourself. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I don't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. I hate that. I hate that one so much. You hear your mom calling you into the kitchen. As you are heading down the stairs, you hear a whisper from the closet saying, don't go down there, honey. I heard it too. I've heard that before too as like an urban legend and I hate that because if I ever heard it, I would lose my mind. My brother and I had an experience once where we heard our dad calling our names, each of our respective names from his room. Like he was like in pain or something like that. And so we ran out of our rooms to go see what was wrong and he had never called either of us. And we both heard, you know, our names, not like the other person's names. So I don't like that one at all. Officer, I just looked away for a second and my baby was gone. I sobbed helplessly. That's better. I sounded much more convincing this time. I thought with a smile as I finally picked up the phone to call the police. Ugh. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. That literally sends like chills up and down my body. Oh my God. Like I would lose my mind. Nurses know. Born seven pounds, 10 ounces, 18 inches long, 32, fully formed teeth, silent, always smiling. I've never thought of the visual of a baby with teeth, like a newborn with teeth, and now I can't get it out of my head smiling, so thanks for that. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. Literally a horror story. The longer I wore it, the more it grew on me. She had such pretty skin. I don't know. I found a dead body in my trunk today, which is strange because I remember putting two in there yesterday. I'm telling you guys, these are getting dark. You hear the scream across the hallway, but your eyes won't open and you can't move. Being the first to respond to a fatal car accident is always the most traumatic thing I see as a police officer. But today, when the crushed body of the little dead boy 
strapped in his car seat, opened his eyes and giggled at me when I tried to peel him out of the wreckage. I immediately knew that today would be my last day on the force. I looked out my window. The stars had gone away. The sun vanished, you guys, the sun vanished, is coming back. You may have already seen that video before this video because I don't know when this is going up, but that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> I always thought that my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed fixated on my face. Until one day when I realized that she was always looking just behind me. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. I just saw my reflection blink. Like I wasn't already afraid enough of like mirrors and windows. This video is going to make me paranoid, I swear. I kiss my wife and daughter goodnight before I go to sleep. When I wake up, I'm in a padded room and the nurses tell me it was just a dream. Literally, that is like my nightmare, I swear, is like waking up and knowing that my reality wasn't real. <sighs> I peeked outside. The pizza delivery guy is at the door, but I didn't order a pizza. And definitely not from someone wearing a pig mask. My mother has been screaming at the front door for hours now. She's not happy that I killed her with my bare hands. I can assume it's probably that, but also probably that you didn't do the dishes. I have a friend named Charlie. I'm playing at his house, but it's cold down here in the basement. I wonder when Charlie will let me go home. Ooh. If you get scared at night, don't keep your eyes closed for too long. There's a reason you're scared, and now you can't see it approach. I just looked up, saw Annabelle in the corner of my viewfinder, and almost just had a heart attack. I used a Ouija board yesterday, but I only asked one question and put it away. I got my answer today, written in blood on my ceiling, and that's why we don't use the Ouija board, ladies and gents. All right, so that's all of the two sentence horror stories I'm gonna read for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all very, very much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.